One of the most important questions in life is, what happens to us after we die? Sometimes, when we think about life after death, we imagine floating around like ghosts, with wings up on a cloud where there's a lot of hymns playing and everything is decorated with the color yellow. But the Bible teaches that what happened to Jesus after he died is what will happen to all who follow him. 1 Corinthians 15.23 describes Jesus as the first fruits, the first example of what will happen to those who belong to Jesus. Jesus wasn't just raised spiritually in some sense, he was raised bodily. His whole being was raised to life again. After Jesus was raised, he talked with people, walked around, and ate fried fish. What happened to Jesus will happen to us too if we are in him. God will finally defeat the problem of death by raising us to new and eternal life. This is the last step of salvation. In previous chapters we talked about justification, regeneration, sanctification. Sanctification is the process of becoming more holy so we can resemble God in the way that we live and represent him well on earth. But our bodies and minds do not resemble God in the way he intended. We're still weak, prone to mistakes, and we're still slowly dying. And the last step is glorification. Glorification is when the full image of God is restored in us. As we talked about in chapter 4, being in God's image means that we resemble God and also that we represent him. When we're resurrected, though, our whole being, body, soul, and mind, will be put right again. In fact, we'll be better than humans were originally. We'll have perfected bodies. What's more, as we heard about in the last talk, God will also redeem all creation. So we'll have a new earth to inhabit, with God's kingdom being fully realized here. So the good news is that everything that happened to Jesus will happen to us, if we're part of his family. But the bad news is, the only alternative to life in Christ is eternal death and unhappiness apart from him. The good future God has for us in the world is a future where we can have right relationship with the triune God, but only those who will let the triune God save them can participate in God's eternal kingdom. Because God is the only source of life and happiness, the inevitable result of rejecting God is destruction and misery.